SLPP wonders how AKD foretells Raniel's decision. Anti-Basel sentiments in government intensifies. Eight SJB MPs to become independent. The leader, Deshita Magakiana, Prorti Belagasma. SLPP wonders how AKD foretells Raniel's decision. The relative peace in politics was shattered when Rajapaksa family crony Udayanga Wiratunga claimed a dissolution of parliament on either July 14th or 15th. He also told Hiru TV that entrepreneur Damika Pereira would be the SLPP's prime ministerial candidate. He also claimed that President Ranil Wickremesinghe and SLPP strategist Basil Rajapaksa have finalised the agreement and the incumbent will not contest at the presidential polls either. Parliament is June Palos in the Pasudina. That's it. His claims caused worries of serious nature not for politicians, but for the scammers who struck deals with government big shots. They are giving calls to find out if they could finish their deals before the parliament's dissolution. With a denial yet to come from the government, Udayanga's claims were scotched by none other than AKD, the NPP presidential candidate. He is certain there will be no dissolution of parliament, since Ranil knows very well that from then on, he would have no power to wield. Parliament is the only way to do it. The only way to do it is Ranil Vikram Singh. The only way to do it is the parliament. The only way to do it is the parliament. The parliament is the only way to do it. In this case, the only way to do it is the only way to do it. The only way to do it is the only way to do it. The only way to do it is the only way to do it. Social media posts question as to how AKD is dead sure about what Raniel would do. When inquired by journalists, Basil said he was not aware of anything of the sort. But some say it was very much a feeler sent by him via Udayanga, an MP very close to the SLPP founder explained that they had grave doubts if Raniel could win. With Basil telling him not to take that risk, he can dissolve Parliament as per the Constitution any time now. 52 days are enough to prepare for a general election, he said further. The UNP and SLPP contesting separately can win close to 100 seats. Raniel can easily get the MPs needed to form a national government from the SJB. Remember, when Ashraf joined Chandrika in 1994, President D.B. Wajatunga decided her to be the Premier over Sirimavo Banadaranaike. The same thing will happen this time too. After a general election, Raniel can decide who would be the Prime Minister. Then, he can form a national government and be its presidential candidate. The Basel loyalist ended his explanation. When contacted for a comment, a senior official at the presidential secretariat told Leader TV that the president is of the view that whoever wins the presidential polls, having a stable government for the winner, will be good for the country. He stressed that the president has no intention of holding a general election first. His election campaign has been given to a foreign firm and it has already planned the campaign. Several essential bills are due to be passed in July and parliament will not be dissolved for any reason, he added. In the meantime, Basil summoned several SLPP big shots to his home and told them about what is going to happen. The president says more than 20 SJB MPs will join the government by the 15th. Sarath Fonseca and some others will become independent. If that happens, Raniel will be at an advantage. But I do not believe any of these. If he manages to obtain support from SJB MPs, we will have to reconsider fielding a SLPP candidate. I told Damika to be prepared, Basil said. Anyway, even Basil is undecided what to do. Whatever is said and done, Raniel's decision is crucial. The next election is crucial for him too. So rather than seeking advice, he should better take decisions on his own. Anti-Basil sentiments in government intensifies. Politicians are doing their utmost to choose a side that assures their existence in politics. 
going by their past performance, some do not know to which side they belong to. Raniel is yet to announce his candidature. But the political committee tasked with his campaign met last week too. Previously, the participants had been UNP big shots, including Wajira Abewadena, Raniel loyalists in the SLPP and the Nima Lanza faction. Wajira insisted that Basil should be present to take decisions about the presidential polls. Accordingly, Raniel invited Basil to attend. The new alliance of Anura Yapa was displeased by that. Don't get Rajapaksas involved in this. We left them because we cannot work with them. So saying, the faction boycotted the meeting and the dinner that followed. Responding to Wajira's call, Raniel suggested that Basil be made chairman of the committee. In a tactical move, Basil turned it down, but insisted Ranil announce his candidature as soon as possible. Later, Yapa, Lanza and Duminda met Ranil and proposed him to contest without obtaining support from the Rajapaksas. If the SLPP fields either Damaka or Namal, they can get a sizable number of SJB MPs to Ranil's side, Yapa observed. This shows the intensifying anti-Rajapaksa sentiments in government ranks. Critics are keeping a watch on how that will impact Ranil's campaign. What's more, even they are divided on what will happen. Eight SJB MPs to become independent. A ginger group within the SJB had a secret meeting at the office and home of one of them to decide their future. They noted the party accepted various characters like Nalaka Godahiwa and GL Pieris and are held in high esteem by the party leadership. They may get cabinet positions too. These MPs decided to meet their leader Sajith Premadasa and inquire from him about the composition of the cabinet in a government formed by them. A senior prone to troublemaking led the talks, and a total of eight MPs attended. A few suggested becoming independent, but the rest were not agreeable to that. Critics say Sajith is someone who cannot be rehabilitated. Even when things are crystal clear, if he becomes hesitant, he doesn't think twice before taking a wrong decision and going ahead with it. Critics note as a case in point his decision to change the SJB's economic policy to make it different from Ranil's. That's why people like Harsha try to paint differences between their policies.